Hello. If you collect anything, no matter what it is, sometimes you will come across a unicorn vacuum, a vacuum that you never thought you'd see, that you've never really seen, but you know exists. The oh, fact that this video is going out in winter is going to belie the fact that it's the 18th of July, 28 degrees already at 20 to 10 in the morning. And I went to the car boot this morning. What did I find at the car boot sale? I found a Hoover Power Plus dust cup. A unicorn of a Hoover senior from the 1980s, the bagless one that was never really popular at all. And I've seen a few in collections, but never in real life. So I'm gonna compose myself a bit because I'm literally running from the car to film this because I'm very excited. Let's have a look at what I bought. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? I mean, oh wow, a Hoover Power Plus. To give it its official title, it is a Hoover Power Plus U4302 from December 1984. And just wow, these things are so, so rare. For good reason, to be honest, they weren't particularly fantastic. The Bagler system left a lot to be desired and yeah, they just didn't last really. So the fact that I walked down, I think this is only the second row I went down, which is one, one of the reasons I'm blowing out of my hole because I carried it around the entire rest of the car boot because you don't need something like this lying around. And I paid £20 for it, which I think is an absolute steal. The writing on the front is wearing. I'm not going to be able to machine polish this very well. That is sadly probably one of the better ones out there. So when we do this and I'll show you the after video, you're going to have to bear in mind that I cannot make this mint because we will lose all of that. So we don't want to do that. But let me pull you up. Apologies for the light. It's a blindingly sunny day. I usually try and film sort of in the evening nowadays but you cannot do much about that let's bring you around here oh, there we go look you can see my awful table birdie is up there look on the backs bless him and yes this is my hoover power plus it has the bulldog sticker on it which is absolutely fantastic let us pull the cable down i don't know if it's the original cable or not probably is we have ourselves a modern plug nothing too exciting there you're gonna focus camera come on let's not do this this morning we've got some exciting things to see and then if we come down show you look hello i like to angle myself a bit so the light shines on the vacuum and not behind it the bag look has the original hoover dust cup logo which is a pain because i cannot wash this bag now because i do believe that will just wipe off completely ah <sighs> we look down at the back we can see that it's a bit grubby which is a bit of a shame but overall not too terrible and come down to the bottom which is where the business end is the dust cup if we take off the bag pull the clips the dust cup just falls off and look it's already got a bit of dust in it that's good. The bloke said he serviced it. He had a couple of vacuums. What drew my attention to this was a package of H1 bags sat on the cord hook of a Recon Junior. I went, oh, one day over, old stuff. Boom! And before my body had really caught up, I'd handed him over the money and had this in my hand, as you should do. Oh, look, well, this bit moves as well. Ah, this is, that'll be how you shake it out, because you're supposed to, as this says, shake out the dust cup oh there we go i've had to adjust this so it focuses on the writing and not through the thing so with each use which is probably why they didn't last because obviously that never happened and i think the bags just rotted out i don't know what it's like inside really i don't think i can see it oh it literally the end of the fill tube is here so 
the <laughs> the bag literally just I don't even think I dare take it apart just yet. I need some help and advice on this first because who knows? Although looking at this, I can't actually take the bellows off because it has one of those annoying spring clips, which is a bit of a pain. One use only. But never mind about that. Right, let's put the dust cup back on. Oh, it's all so fragile. We may as well keep it down here, look, where we can see the underneath. And it's fairly clean. He serviced it. He hasn't refurbished it, so there's still stuff for me to do. And underneath, it's fairly Hoover Senior-ish. Really, if we take off the base plate, can we take off the base plate? Ooh. Ah, why is it not? Oh, it's got those horrible spring clips, fair enough. Here is our base plate, very reminiscent of the older Hoover Seniors, just, you know, face lifted up. For the modern age, we have ourselves a nice belt, a fan with all of its blades intact, and a brush roll with it's original paint, which is actually pretty good, and some very nice brush strips. The guy said he put a new belt and brushes on it, so that's good. That's probably what he meant by service, which is decent enough. We'll see how... Oh, gosh, this is difficult to put these on there. Eh. Ah, do you? Why are you not... You're in. From this is such a rare machine. You've got to be ever so careful. Ah. Uh, oh, I think that'll do. That's on. Yeah, that's on. Oh, yeah. I think we should get it turned on, really, and see how it works, because it can look as good as it needs to. But if it doesn't work, then we need to investigate that. So let me find some power, and we'll see how this thing runs. We have our power connected. I don't quite know what... What setting it's on, we'll have to work that out and see if we can even change it. Phoenix, off the camera, good boy. But we'll turn it on, which is this button here. particularly wrong with that at all gosh that's very very smooth and yeah because we finished vacuuming we can take the top, top cord hook off and shake the bag down and all the dust falls into the cup at the bottom which you can then take off to empty and yeah look, it's picked up a nice amount of dust from this rug oh my goodness I never thought I'd be able to show you something like this on my channel. I mean, you know, unless you were around when these were new, you don't really have them. I mean, comment down below if you have a Hoover Power Plus and what do you think of it? I'm still in amazement at it, to be honest. So, there we go. It runs. It runs really well. It is going to need a full refurb. It certainly... That's great, that is. That's how you empty it shake all the dust down it, it is very old school it was an upgrade which didn't last very long and i think a lot of collectors convert them to bag bagged which i might do i'll be honest because it will save this bag from getting really really filthy you can just cable tie it to the top of that and have it sat up there we may investigate that but not today this is a day of looking and having it beautiful so hmm, still in shock now <laughs> Oh, the Hoover Power Plus. My car, I haven't been to the car boot for years either. I just won't actually miss the low-key tabs fault from his YouTube channel. Because he went to the car boot this morning as well. And I thought, oh, I might go to. And I'm very, very glad 
I did. So there we go, the Hoover Power Plus before video. Hopefully by the time you see this again, it probably won't sound much different. It'll probably work about the same, but it should look a lot tidier. And hopefully I can film it on a day where it's not quite so bright and you can see the maroon a bit more. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I and this will see you soon. Bye bye.